kick. Um, yeah, some days I hate myself. You saw the title. I hate myself. I ain't making this no kind of difference. I'm just getting right into it. And the, the point, the, you know what's so funny is by the time you guys see this video, it'll probably have been a couple weeks since I made it. So I may not feel this way by the time you see this video. Know that. All my videos you guys see on YouTube, you've seen it a couple weeks after I've already made the video. <laughs> so, um, because I have, I have like, mm, what a, I gotta say right now, I'll probably have 15 to 20 videos that I haven't uploaded yet. So you're probably, you'll see this video 15 to 20 uploads after I already made it. So by the time you see this video, I could probably already have 15, 20 more videos already made. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> this mic picks up everything, everything from every burp. Anyway, I'm just being real. Um, so yeah, uh, some days I really do hate myself, man. And because and what the truth is, is that, Hold on, let me uh, let me uh, my day, update this right quick. Stick with me, YouTube. I don't feel like restarting it, so just give me just give me two minutes. Don't even give me two minutes. Give me thirty more seconds. Okay. Some days I really struggle to um, enjoy this life of mine. You know, it's not that I hate myself every day. I think we all go through periods where we hate ourselves. I don't hate necessarily myself. I hate the fact that I haven't been able to do some of the, like some of the things I know is so stupid. I can't get over. Here, I, if you saw my last video, I talked about losing weight you know i was able to lose the 100 pounds my first 100 pounds but this heck at 100 pounds has been tough and i've been told you know you do take a break you lose 100 pounds take a break you know just live life and then go back to it and that's i'm back to the to it and it's so hard to go right back to it it's so i, I hate that some things are so simple but they take so dang long to do you know what i mean it's so hard to make so many changes you know when i Losing this, losing this second hundred pounds is hard. It's hard for me to get back in the routine I was in before. And I sometimes that makes me want to hate myself because I'll look in the mirror or I'll be like, dang, Trey, if you would have just kept going, you'd already probably have lost 150 pounds by now. But no, I stopped because I felt like I needed a mental break and that's fine. But I can't lie to y'all and say that it didn't, it doesn't make me feel like, dang, you know what I mean? Because... <sighs> I want it so bad, but it's so hard to just make that change all the time. And I sometimes hate that I can't just do it. You know, I know some people make it seem so simple. Like, oh, you just got to do it. You just got to wake up one day. Yes, exactly. One day you do wake up and the change happens. It's getting to that freaking day. You know, I want to be not just the streamer because Obviously, I don't think I'll ever be like a big streamer like that makes money, you know, but I, I want to be more than just a guy who shows y'all glass pieces and stuff. I also want to be a guy who shows y'all how to live a healthy lifestyle. And I know that will take my content to another place, but I have to get there. Even though I'm showing y'all the journey, it's still tough. You know what I mean? And I just hate that I can't just start. You know, I hate when I step on the scale and I'm like, man, if I would have just, but you got to move on. You really got to move on. Another thing that I hate sometimes is just that some habits and some struggles I still deal with, man. And I hate that I, I can't, oh man, I'm about to pour my heart out here. I hate that I can't just give it up. I feel so stupid sometimes. It's like, man, why? I, I feel like, and I know nobody knows it. But I hate looking around, you know, and just feeling it from above, if you know what I mean. And being like, man, I know some, I feel like I'm an idiot. Why can't I just get this down? Other people have. Why can't I? Why not me? And I, that'll get you into some real bad self-hate. And that's just my reality. I'm not trying to get on here and 
I'll tell y'all how not to do it. I'm telling you what I'm feeling today. I might not feel this by the time y'all even see this video. But my point is, this is reality. Now, I mean, I, I try to show y'all my whole journey. That's why this channel is called. I think it's giving me too much headroom. That's why this channel is called What Can I Change? Because it's a and that's why I started the channel. I think some people don't know that, but I started the channel to journey my life. One day this channel will end, you know, one day when I feel like I made all the changes I'm going to make. And that may be 10 years from now, maybe when I'm 40 and I got kids running around, I'll be like, hey, guys, you're just going to get a video every now and then. But this is I told you guys this would be my journey from 26 when I started to 40. That's when I plan on stopping. Now, will I keep going? Probably. Or I'll take a couple years off and I'll come back. Or I might just give y'all one video a month or something. But my goal is if I make it to 40, I want to show you my journey from 26, being as fat as I was, being as down as I was, as sad as I was, in the worst spot ever I felt like, to going to here, even when I went through panic attacks and everything just this last year, I want to show you what happens nine years from now. I'm showing y'all my whole journey. And some of those journeys have stopped. That's why some of my videos... You know, you go back and you may see a year gap because part of my life was getting a girlfriend and it stopped. It twice I disappeared from YouTube because I got a girlfriend. That's part of the journey. And that's what I want to get to. Well, actually, I got a girlfriend. I was still making videos, y'all, because I, I remember making videos on that. But I stopped again after I lost her. I, I, I stopped and then I started making videos again. And then I stopped because I got a girlfriend and I started making videos again, you know, and then I stopped. <laughs> And met my wife and then i started making videos again you know what i mean so it's it's, it's i just want to show y'all like this is the complete journey and if like like that's why i say i don't care like what this channel ends up being at sub count because this this channel isn't for really entertainment it's not for oh let's just do whatever let's make as much money as possible let's turn this channel into a business because it's not really that it is a business within itself i guess you could say that if it ever blew up into something but the main purpose is just to journey my life. Now, what that ends up, I don't know. And maybe one day it just ends and it's just over. Um, but up until now, this is just my journey. This is this is my video documentary. If I can look back on this 10 years from now, I'll be like, wow. I remember going from here to here. I remember being in college when I started this channel, to getting married, to having a kid, to losing all the weight to this, to making money, to not being broke, to driving a better car, to um, pre, uh, preaching, to teaching at men retreats, talking against pornography, talking against OnlyFans, helping children who are being, you know, uh, abused. That's what I want. I want to be like, man, I started here and here I am here. I got to go through all of this. And I don't know how, how far it goes past 40. If it goes past 40, maybe, you know, I'll document watching, telling you guys how I got. The, I won't ever show my kids on here. But, you know, if I ever get to shit like, hey, my, 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 my daughter got married. She got married to a wonderful young man or my son got married to a wonderful young woman. I got grandkids now. Maybe I can document that. I don't know. I don't know. But my hope is appreciated, brother. I just hope that one day I can look back on my on my YouTube channel if it YouTube always keeps us up. If not, hey, it'll just be up here. That's fine. But if YouTube keeps this thing up for another 20 years, and I hope they do, we'll be able to look back on all this and we'll be able to go, wow. I remember that. I remember that moment. I remember making that video. I remember making this video right now and going, man, I really hated myself. But I got through it. And so that's the hope. That's the hope. All right. I just want to make this quick video. It started off sad, didn't it? But it ended well. That's life. Peace.